Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to make a seamlessly tiling image in Adobe Illustrator. And the reason I'm making this tutorial is because it took me forever to figure it out and there are just like no tutorials online about it and it's actually really simple and I totally facepalmed when I realized how simple it was. So, yep, I'm going to put this up. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is create a new document. Let's just say for web. And it needs to be a square. Well, it doesn't need to be a square, but it's easier if it's a square. So let's just say 100 millimeters by 100 millimeters. And this is important because when you put your objects into the, uh, the image area, you want to move them up to the left and then down the exact length of the document. So, okay. Scale that down a little bit. So you're gonna wanna go up to file and I'm gonna open some objects that I already have made so it's a little easier. Let's just, I've got this little course that I made. So you select your object, copy it, that. I'm going to paste him and he's huge so I'm going to free transform him down so he's a little smaller. Okay, so I've got my little horse and he's adorable. I'm going to copy that and paste it. Copy that and paste it. And just, you know, put him through the image. It doesn't really matter. It's not that important. So, you know, you've got your little image here. Okay. I'm going to select this and free transform it so it's a little smaller. And to make sure that it stays the same size, hold down shift so it'll it'll scale, but you won't like skew it or stretch or do anything weird like that. Okay, so I've got this cute little tile. It's right in the center of my image area. Or not exactly, but it's close. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and move it up to the left. See what I'm doing? I'm gonna actually make that a little bit bigger. So I've moved that up to the left, so it's overlapping over here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select all of it, copy, which is Command C on a Mac, and then paste in place, not paste, which is Command V, but paste in place, which is Command F. So it doesn't look like it's done anything, but there's another object. You hit Enter. You're going to want to move zero horizontal, and this is where the measurements come in. It's negative 100. And you can hit preview so you see what it's going to do. So you see how it's overlapping down here? That's what you want. So, okay. Copy. Command F again. Enter. Zero. Zero millimeters vertical, 100 millimeters horizontal. Okay. Enter again. One hundred millimeters vertical. Okay, now this isn't perfect, but you get the idea. So what you're going to want to do, you're going to want to create a square that's 100 millimeters by 100 millimeters. Okay, and it doesn't really matter what the fill is because you're going to delete it anyway. Or you could make it a different color and send it to back. Let's just say it's like 
yellow. That's kind of greenish. There we go. Object arrange, send to back. And you want to paste this in front. Select all. So what you're doing is you're selecting all. Since that object is in front, you're going to go over to the Pathfinder tool, which you can find going to Window and Pathfinder if it's not up, and um, click Crop. This is the Crop tool. So there we go. It's cropped everything that we're not using, including that thing on the top. Now, this is looks kind of stupid, but, you know, it'll work. So you select it all, go to Window, Swatches, drag it to Window, Swatches. And I'm just going to delete that. And I'm going to get rid of the artboard. So here we go. So to see this tile, and there we go. Now it doesn't really look perfect, and I could have been more careful with my spacing and that sort of thing but you get the general idea. So there you have it, a seamlessly tiling image in Adobe Illustrator. Now you can do this in Photoshop using the uh, command offset tool if you have like an image with an object right in the center and it's not touching the edges, but um, this is kind of how I'm doing it and I'm kind of into textile design, so, uh, yep, there you have it. Seamlessly tiling images in Adobe Illustrator.